Hello, welcome to Toffee TV. It's another episode of Toffee Tenables, and this week's guest is Dave Murray. Ned, <clears throat> give me what list two is. This two is Everton's oldest goal scorers. So again, same drill. Okay. Ten oldest goal scorers in the Premier League era for Everton. Can you do it? Okay. So when you're ready, give me yep. the name of the first. I'll be honest saying this now. I will be majorly impressed if you get tenable here. That's the only hint I'm going to get. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But give me the name of the first player you want to enter in to Everton's oldest ever Premier League goal scorers. Dave Watson. Dave Watson. Mm. Last captain to win silverware. Last captain to hoist a trophy above his head. Yeah. You're asking, is Dave Watson a tenable answer? Ned, take it away. He is. Good start. Number seven in the all-time list, David Watson, aged 35, 116 days when he scored okay. for Everton. Let's go with uh, his partner in crime, Richard Goff. Richard Goff. Ned, is Richard Goff tenable? What a player, by the way. What a player. Is Goff tenable? Richard Goff is number one. <laughs> the Everton's oldest ever Premier League goal scorer. 37 years, 138 days. Was that Southampton 4 0 when he scored that? Uh, yeah. Heather, was it? Heather at the Heather. shows, Heather at the park end, 4 0. Goffy, yep. there you go. Tremendous. The date he scored, I think it's that, was the 21st of August, 1999. Yeah, that was when he scored. Waggies, I didn't give that, was the 15th of March, 1997. That might, was that West Ham away? Maybe. Um, okay, good start. Two from two, really yeah. solid start, Dave. I like it, I like it. Three lives intact. So, the next one. I want you to give me. Uh, Mark Hughes. Mark Hughes. Sparky, shitbag Hughes. Mm -hmm. It was made <laughs> yeah. up when we got him. When he left, he's a rat. Yeah. Uh, he scored one goal for Everton in 27 games. Against Wofford, I think in, it was. In a 4-2 when yeah. Stephen Hughes smashed one in with the left foot at the street end to kill the game. Oh, whatever but happened to the Stephen Hughes the tree? Steve leaning on the tree. Yeah. Is Mark Hughes a tenable answer in it? Mark Hughes was a header at the park end, wasn't he? At the park end. Diving header, I think it was. Here we go. Bing! Mark Hughes is Everton's third oldest Premier League goal scorer. It was on the 1st of April, 2000. It'll yeah. be in that Wofford game. Yeah. 36 years, 152 days old when he scored that goal. Then he became a manager, went to City, and was a cry ass. Mm -hmm. Okay, good yeah. start, three from three. Okay. Excellent. Three lives still intact. I like it. 30% on this one so far. It's good. It's going well. That's Premier League only, isn't it? Okay. That's all it is. Yeah. Premier League only. Okay. Can't throw Dave Hicks in age 52 years and 11 days. Yeah. Or Ashley Young. Or Ashley Young. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, hmm? is Ashley Young there? No. Is Ashley Young there, Dave? No, That's not for me to say. We don't know. We don't know, Dave. <laughs> he could be. You might have got it wrong. <laughs> right, but let's focus. Come on, you're throwing me. I'm not throwing anything. You threw it at me. Just a little fact while we're here. Ashley Young's son. Made his debut this week for Peterborough United, aged 18. Did he, yeah? Mm. His son, Tyler Young, I his think. His son's not on this list. His son definitely isn't on this okay. list. Okay, right. Okay. Um. Well, no fact about Ashley Young. He wants to change his name to Ashley Old. Because he's so old. Mm. <laughs> I've had other players on this list. Mm. He could be one of them. He could not, he could be. Be. He could not be. No one knows. Well, we will know once they yeah, we will answer, know. if he yeah. knocks an answer in for. Yeah. Right. Got you this, Annie? Yeah. It's got your brain thinking. 
this is going to keep you up all night like Shane Duffy tonight. If you don't get a ten, I believe you'll be thinking. He's not on the list. Who knows? He might be on the list. We can't confirm nor deny that. Only the game will do that if you lock him in. I'm going to go with... Who's he going with? Gaza. Paul Gascoigne. Yeah. England maestro. Yeah. Scored in a 2-2 draw at Bolton Wanderers. Yeah. The only Premier League goal he scored for Everton. Yeah. Wrapped it in in a 2-2 draw. Yeah, he did, yeah. Okay. Yeah. On the 3rd of November, 2001. Do you know that? I know that now. No, well, I knew that anyway. I knew that they locked in. It's the, only Premier League, the only Premier League goal he ever scored. For. Oh, right, okay. That's right. Yeah. But I'm going to lock he, it in, Ned. Come on. Was he of age to make it on this list, Dave? Let's see. Go ahead, Ned. Of course he was. Of course he was. Alan Stubbs scored a free kick the first one that day, Did, didn't he? Drove a free kick in. I was in the, I was in the upper at Bolton that day. What a day. Gaza was aged 34 years and 161 days when he scored that goal for Everton. Okay, doing well. You're doing well. It's a good start. But what are we at? 40%. Six names needed. Still got all your lives intact. Davey Weir. David Weir. What a player. Come down from Scotland. Very unassuming. He's now turning it up at Brighton. Mm. You're asking, is Davy Weir an alpha when he scored for Everton? Let's see. Ned, is David Weir tenable? <laughs> yes, he is. Number five on the list. David Weir scored on the 4th of February 2006, aged 35 years and 271 days. Good old David Weir. Okay, five are locked in, 50%. This is a good showing. This is good. Still got three lives to go. We need five names to get a perfect tenable. I can hear his brain cells thinking that. The clanking together. Alan Stubbs. Alan Stubbs. I told you he scored that free kick at Bolton in a 2-2. He wasn't hard when he scored that one. Is Alan Stubbs... On the list, Ned, is he a tenable answer? <laughs> Alan Stubbs, number four. He was he scored on the 14th of August 2007. He was aged 35 years and 313 days. So, okay, in a good place here, 60%. Four names to give me, three lives to play. You're doing tremendously, Dave. Your family are going to be proud of you. You're doing well. For the first time. Well, yeah. hey, first time for everything. Yeah. Seamus. Seamus Coleman. Seamus, what's his middle name? He said it today, Seamus. Ireland. Uh, Seamus Ireland Coleman. I'm yeah. not convinced that's right. Seamus Colossus Coleman. Maybe. 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 Yeah. His birthday today. Is it, yeah? It is. So yeah, many cool. happy returns. I yeah. know he watches. I know he's a Premier yeah. member and he watches. So happy birthday, Seamus. Seamus. Okay. Is our current gaffer a tenable answer? Gaffer. Ned. Gaffer. Is the gaffer real? He's the real gaffer. Yeah, he gave yeah, a team yeah. talk when we beat Palace. That's true, yeah. So, you know, well, the other one. I'm, I, I refuse to accept that. That's the gaffer. Um, okay, Ned is Seamus Coleman. Everton's current captain. Is he a tenable answer? He isn't. He's not tenable. Seamus Coleman's last Everton goal. Leeds. It was the 18th of February 2023 and he was aged 34 years, 130 days. He's not a tenable answer. First life you've lost. We're still in a good place, Dave. Four to get. Two lives still intact. That's your first misdemeanour. First misstep. Duncan. Duncan Ferguson, Scottish captain, big man, up there in Everton's all-time goal-scoring charts yeah. in the Premier League. 
had yeah. a swan song season when we finished fourth. Is Duncan a terrible answer? I mean, did of course play the season after we finished fourth. That yeah, scored final. two goals. One was an mm. own goal. Oh five, oh six. Yeah. Um, Duncan Ferguson. I feel for you because he's number eleven. Oh. He was aged thirty-four years, one hundred and thirty-two days when he scored the rebounded penalty miss against West Bromwich Albion on the seventh of May, two thousand and six. I left the week after that. Left Everton that week. After after it's the last the, game, never been the same. It's never been the same. Been downhill since. Yeah. Okay. Still need four. We've got one life to play with. Got to really engage that brain here. Seventy percent on this will be excellent. What are we at now? You're at 60. sixty. So another answer, I think you've done really, really, really well as our oldest and chairman would say. People are screaming out answers at their telly now while they're watching this. Pets over there screaming answers, mm. dropping spitting bars. I wish this was my list. John Blaine will not forgive you tonight. No. When you're waking up in the middle of the night. Well, you won't I mean, be asleep. stood over me. Stood yeah. over you going. Yeah. Yeah, what? You've only got 60%. <laughs> Absolutely no wiggle room as well. No. There's one on there. I'll be honest, there's one on there. I'm very surprised you haven't got. <laughs> <laughs> That's no help. No, yeah. I know. Just, just slagging him off. Yeah. I'm not. We can't allow any clues, can we? No. Because he's because Dave's good, so he doesn't deserve a clue because he's been good, been very good. How old was Gaza? Paul Gascoigne was thirty-four years, one hundred and sixty-one days. Okay, let's go with Adrissa. Adrissa Ghana gay. If Adrissa Ghana gay isn't a tenable answer, it's game over. Yeah. Ned is Adrissa Ghana gay tenable. Yes, he is, Dave. Woo! The Drisset was aged 34 years, 236 days, when he killed a free kicking against Arsenal via 80-12 deflections. Um, I wasn't even thinking of that goal either. Well, that was the goal you were thinking yeah. of Brentford, Brentford, but it was yeah. actually Arsenal when he scored. Yeah. Um, okay. Is that the one? That's the, that's the last goal, yeah. No, is that the one you were thinking of? No. Oh, God. <laughs> so, three to play. <laughs> Three to play, one life to go, but you're at 70%, and I did say 70% is a good score on this. I think you could get 90%. I don't want the pressure. I did say to you the night before we started, that'd be incredibly impressed if you got 100%, mm -hmm. if you got full tenable on this, but if you got 90, I would be almost as impressed as if you got tenable. But I think you can get 90 mm. But obviously you can't have one more miss. They've got a life to play with and that's it. Mm. But a dress is a good one because I'm not convinced a lot of people would think of that. Yeah. So well done. Well done, you. I can feel I can cut the tension in the room. <laughs> Honestly, it's palpable. If you're watching this at home and you're thinking there's no tension in this room, oh my God, the tension is... Ped's almost asleep. That's how much tension there is. Because what Ped does is he gets himself so tense that he has to go to sleep or he, he might humanly combust. fatigue, isn't it? Yeah, that's what it is. Or he'll go for a run. Did you know he runs? He no, doesn't talk about that. it. Yeah, he doesn't mention it, but he oh, goes right. running. I mean, yeah. interesting. You, you, your biggest mm. issue is you've got 70%. I, little old nerd, I've got 100%. Is mm. that you? Yeah, <laughs> in his brain. I know all the answers. And I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Ned, <laughs> Ned's fully terrible across two lists. Um, okay, I'm gonna give you another sort of twenty seconds, Dave. And oh, I'm hang gonna... on a minute. Just... 
I'm not giving you a minute. You've just, I've just I've just talked about Ped going for a run, which I don't know whether you know, but Ped oh, runs. Oh, um, you don't have to jump in, just think. But I'll give you about another 10 seconds. Go with. <gasps> okay. So you know what's at stake here. Yeah. A wrong answer here, Dave. It's game over. Yep. Okay. Phil Jagielka. Philip Jagielka. Philip Nicodine Jagielka. Yeah. Knock it in. Is Philip Nicodine Jagielka a tenable answer? Let's see. Or is it Cairns for Francis Benali? Yes, he is, David. Woo! Philip Jagielka, the winning goal against Arsenal. his last ever goal for Everton. It's 36 years, 233 days when he side-footed in at the park end. He wasn't announced in the team for that game. No, he wasn't. And he came he in last wasn't. minute. Michael Keane was yeah. in the team yeah. and was ill. And people were going, oh my God, I can't believe Keane's out. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, uh, I a lot Jagiel... has changed in five years. I think Jagielka played the next game and had a stinker. So he had to play back to back. It was a midweek game. Mate, he scored the win against Arsenal no, and no. kept the clean sheet. So there you go. You've got him. Right. Right. Okay, we're at 80%. This is, an, this is seriously impressive, David. You've got two names to get. You've got one life to play with. Can you get to the one question shootout? Which is off another game show. The chase, if you chase want, the, the, fame, chase, yeah. the famous what question you have get on with it with the dark destroyer two names one life to play with we need some Ned we need some mood music don't we some I don't I'm sweating or a heartbeat ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> that's where Francis Benali's pitch should have been on <laughs> okay they're zooming in he's zooming in on your day come on you don't, you don't want to see the beads of sweat <laughs> So put the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Go in and out. Go in and out on David. Go ahead, Benali. In and out on Benali. Oh, 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 what's happening? <laughs> this is elite to Brilliant. TV. I love it, Ned. Come on, Mike. <laughs> Come back to me, list. Look at this. Look at this. Okay. All right. Back. Go, go Serious. On, recap. Go okay. On, you wouldn't mind. So we've got. Richard Goff, mm. Philip Nicodine, Jack Yelka, Mark Hughes, Alan Stubbs, and David Weir. David Watson, Adrissa Garner Gay, Paul Gascoigne. Two names remain, one life intact. I'm going to ask you now, Dave, you've done brilliantly to. I said you could have 30 more seconds. Somehow, you've tracked out about four minutes. So, I'm going to come to you, Dave, in 10 seconds, and you're going to have to give me a name. Gonna have fair break to go to, Dave, and the producers are in my ear telling me to hurry up. The pressure is mounting. I'm just loving Ned's face. It's tremendous to smear because he knows that's a man with knowledge over there. Look at him. There's no knowledge over there. No, but he right. knows, but he knows the, it's a man who knows the answers. Mm. Okay, Dave. I'm coming to you, David. It's it for the final time. You're at 80%. It's been a, a valiant, valiant effort. I'm going to go with Leighton Baines. Leighton Baines. Yeah. Okay. Ned, is Leighton Baines a tenable answer? We'll find out after this. <laughs> <laughs> Here we mm. go. Mm. Leighton Baines is not tenable. Leighton Baines, the last goal he scored in the Premier League for Everton was on the 18th of November 2017, aged 32 years and 342 days. You were thinking of his goal against Leicester City. No, I was trying to think as if okay. it was a penalty in that season. I it? got you. I was getting you out of the shit. He should have said, yeah, I was, mate. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't. You now look a fool. Yeah. Um, okay, 80%. It's a good effort. It's a good effort, Dave. I'm impressed. But two names were missing off that list. One name he was in at number six is Gareth Rolls Royce Barry. He'd have been my first guess. Yeah, I thought you would have him. I genuinely thought he'll be the one you go for. 
He scored the, obvious one the 17th of September 2016. Aged 35 years, 207 days. I feel like it probably was West Brom. Oh, i on gone no 17. Hello. That was August. Don't remember this one against Norwich, but that, I think that was 25. No, I'm Norwich, I'm thinking of. But anyway, it doesn't matter. That was when he scored his final Everton goal. Yeah. Okay. So that's number six. Yeah. And number 10 is the one I didn't expect you to get. It, yes. Yeah. It, is. it is Kenny Sampson who scored one goal for Everton in seven games on the 10th of February, 1993, at home to Tottenham Hotspur. Ironically, come from Arsenal. Yeah. Uh, the only goal he got, he was aged 34 years, 138 days when he scored that goal. Uh, just edging out Duncan. That was when I said to you, Duncan's nine, 11. when yeah. I said nine, I'd be, if you'd have got Samson, I'd have just took me hat off to you, because that is, just, it's an, such an obscure one. That's the careful. That's, that's the one. Really hard one. But you got 80%. Across the two, you've got 17 out of the 20 days. That is, that is impressive. Well done. There you go. Another brilliant episode of Toffee Tenable, which one am I on there, aren't I? Um, how many did you get? Be honest. How many did you get of those? A big thanks to Dave for coming in and playing Toffee Tenable. We'll be back with, it definitely is, Ned's episode next week. One not to be missed. He just said before he knows all the answers to everything. I think it's just because he's looking at the list. We'll see you later. <laughs>